Welcome back to our brand new video today. I'm going to show you guys how to make a force field inside of Roblox Studio. So let's get started. Alright guys, so before we start, thank you guys so much for 1,140 subscribers. We are so close to 1,150. For some reason, my subscriber growth is very, very slow for some reason. So please guys, do share the video so more people can subscribe. Anyway, let's get started. So a force field sounds complicated, but, um, and you're probably asking, you can just put like a, like four parts here and then make it invisible and then like put it up. Obviously you could do that now, but it doesn't look that good. So if you want to make it look better, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And there's no scripting guys. It's just, um, stuff, settings and everything. So first off, we're going to insert our, uh, our part. I'm just gonna, doesn't really matter the color. You guys can change the color later. I'm just gonna like do something like a little cube, I guess that works fine. Um, that's not exactly a cube, is it? All right, you know what? That's the closest thing I can get to. And and then what you guys wanna do now is select your part, make sure you are in properties. So open up the properties, and you wanna from here select the material from plastic to force field. I'm not sure if it pops up over here. And uh, I don't think it does. Actually, it does. So, force field right here. So, you just select force field. And you'll see, like, it gets all clear and everything. If it's a bit, like, glitched like that, it's no problem. Just move it a little bit up and no more glitches. As you can see, it's, like, transparent from some side. And now, what you want to do now is just uh, go down. So, first off, you want to pick up your um, force field texture. So, you guys can find a lot of these. So, what I'm going to do, basically, I picked out this one. I'm going to leave a link in the description. You guys can get it for free. I'm gonna make this in plastic and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like real quick. So this here looks like that. So it's like this little fade thing. Now obviously it won't have the fade, just the hexagons. Uh that doesn't matter, it could be any color. So I'm just gonna take and now what you wanna do, so delete that part. Uh whoops, I'm gonna do that. There we go. Anyway, so you wanna get the ID for this. Now there's two ways. Uh the best way I would say just right click and then you guys could do copy ID. I don't think it pops up like this. So you're gonna have to go to your toolbox, uh, models, and then images. And then you wanna select your this one. So this is the one I use. So right click and do copy asset ID. Once you're done with that, you can just close that off. And then all you have to do inside of part, you wanna insert a special mesh. So special mesh, there you go. And right in here, select the special mesh. It should pop up like this. Doesn't matter, it'll change up later. But uh, for the special mesh, inside of properties, for texture ID, so not mesh ID, just texture. You want to put in, uh, do Control V, or just paste the ID there. If you press Enter, you'll see that it has a really cool, like little effect. You can see which makes it look really, really cool. I can't move that far. So that's basically, it, guys. So that's basically how you make it. Uh, now I'm just gonna now, if you go to the part and special like the the mesh um, properties, and for the scale, if you do 500 by 500 by 500. That's what it looks like, guys. Also, make sure your part has can collide off and anchor. Um, so that's right. There we go. And that works, guys. So it looks really cool. I'm just going to make this block. Uh, so I don't really like see it. And as you can see, guys, it has a really cool effect. Obviously, hexagons aren't the perfect ones. Uh, but this is for a tutorial. So on top, uh, a little bit, of, you can see, shows up. And the bottom, I don't think it will show on the bottom, but it's like depends. So there's the bottom there. And so if I play the game... I haven't tested it out yet, but I feel like I should not be glitched or anything. Because even though we're inside a part, and I believe that's not should be a thing. Yeah, so we can still move around. And we can still see the um, thing happening. And if I So as you can see, it works, guys. So I'm just going to quickly get to the border and test if it does uh, block me from going anywhere, basically. Let's test it out. And as you can see, well, it doesn't exactly stop me. Uh, well, that's because we have, um, oh wait, so that's what I forgot. So apparently if you do this, uh, at the time of recording, I didn't find a way to do this, but you, you can't really like change the part, or, like can collide because it's like, a like it's got a special mesh in it. So what you have to do basically after this, you guys can do the, like the, the old school way, just add some parts, right? Like literally right at it. And then let's like scale it real quick. I'm just going to scale like that, change the transparency. Make sure it's anchored and everything. And then, yeah, there you go. And can collide is on. So now if I just go over here and play the test here, like play here, you should see that I'm not going to be able to go past because 
uh, that's not because of the part itself it's just like the other border so as you can see it works and it looks really really cool so hopefully that uh, that's basically the video so hopefully you guys did enjoy be sure to like subscribe and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye